Deep Robotics, a Chinese company, has introduced its advanced robotic dog, Lynx. This cutting-edge robot is built to operate in harsh and extreme conditions, such as rugged terrain, dusty, or wet environments. Weighing 59 kilograms, Lynx can carry loads of up to 20 kilograms and functions autonomously for 2.5 to 4 hours, thanks to its efficient power system. Designed for durability, Lynx has an IP67 rating, making it resistant to dust and water. It can navigate slopes as steep as 45 degrees, overcome height differences of up to 20 centimeters, and withstand temperatures ranging from negative 45 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. This innovative creation by Chinese engineers highlights significant potential in the field of robotics. As the industry evolves, numerous companies are developing robotic dogs for various applications, including military use and entertainment, each with distinct features. However, a new major competitor may soon emerge. In a recent interview, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla is actively working on its own robotic dog, which could disrupt and redefine the market. Elon Musk has claimed that Tesla's upcoming robotic dog will be the most groundbreaking in the world, featuring exceptional capabilities. However, he did not provide a release timeline. Given Musk's track record and the ingenuity of his team, this project is expected to be truly remarkable. Tesla is no stranger to robotics with its humanoid robot, Optimus, already in development. A robotic dog would be a natural addition to the company's growing lineup of AI-driven machines. Meanwhile, China has introduced a new humanoid robot called KBOT-01, also known as Wednesday. Standing at 1.79 meters tall and weighing 60 kilograms, this robot is designed to function both in households and industrial environments. It can operate for up to four hours without needing a recharge and excels in tasks that require precision and fine motor skills. Equipped with advanced sensors and AI, Kebot-01 can recognize objects, interact with people, and adapt to various tasks. It could seamlessly integrate into smart homes, assisting with cleaning, delivering items, and monitoring rooms. Chinese engineers continue to push the boundaries of robotics with companies like Unri recently showcasing advancements in their own cutting-edge designs. The G1 robot has been designed with two advanced manipulators, each featuring three-fingered hands, allowing it to handle intricate object manipulation tasks. With these hands, G1 has demonstrated impressive dexterity, including the ability to grip and move various objects with ease. One of its standout capabilities is its precision in placing items into packing boxes, making it a valuable asset for logistics and warehouse operations. Additionally, the Unrai G1 recently set a world record for the longest jump achieved by a humanoid robot. In a video shared on Unrai's YouTube channel, G1 is seen performing a standing jump of over length not specified. The Unitri G1 humanoid robot stands 127 centimeters tall and weighs 35 kilograms. According to Unrai, its control system is powered by a neural network trained through simulation using reinforcement learning and imitation learning techniques. Meanwhile, the newly opened Stanford Robotics Museum in Palo Alto, USA, aims to become a hub for cutting-edge robotic innovations designed to enhance quality of life and tackle global challenges. The museum showcases robots specialized in surgical procedures, rehabilitation, and patient care, along with autonomous systems built for high-risk environments like search and rescue, agriculture, and environmental research. Additionally, visitors can explore a variety of domestic robots, as well as those designed for education and cultural applications. The I am going to bring you the cookies. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> so the robot is selecting the cookies among other objects, but at the same time, it's avoiding collision. The museum is organized by the Stanford Robotics Center, which unites top researchers from different Stanford departments to advance robotics technology. The Stanford Robotics Center brings together experts from various university departments, including aerospace engineering, bioengineering, chemistry, civil engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. The center also works closely with industry partners to develop large-scale, innovative projects. Meanwhile, in Calais, France, French artisans from La Machine have created an awe-inspiring mechanical dragon known as the Cal Dragon. This massive structure weighs 72 tons and stretches 25 meters in length, 
As part of a major cultural initiative to rejuvenate the city's coastal area and attract tourists, the Dragon serves as both an artistic spectacle and a unique urban experience. Standing 12 meters tall, the colossal dragon can carry up to 48 passengers on its back, giving them a one-of-a-kind perspective as they ride through the streets of Calais on this extraordinary mechanical creature. The Five meter and a little bit high. Its cost was 2.3 million. Cal Dragon is powered by a combination of electric and hydraulic systems, allowing it to move at speeds of up to four kilometers per hour while performing various actions. It can stand on its legs, flap its wings, and even breathe fire, smoke, and water. Inspired by mythical dragons, its design incorporates traditional materials such as wood, metal, and leather, giving it a striking and authentic appearance. Meanwhile, Reflex Robotics has developed a highly adaptable humanoid robot designed for repetitive and labor-intensive tasks, including packaging, palletizing, warehouse operations, and small-scale woodworking. The robot is equipped with advanced sensors that help it navigate tight spaces and interact with objects at different shelf levels. Thanks to its wheeled platform, it offers enhanced mobility and flexibility for various tasks. One of its standout features is its affordability compared to similar robotic solutions. We're not accelerating, we're accelerating. Here he's constantly going back and forth. So this, this is actually needed our drive wheels more than anything else we've done. Really? <laughs> yeah. With remote control capabilities, Operators can manage the robot from distances of up to 4,800 kilometers. Reflex Robotics believes their robot can match human productivity and, in the future, may even surpass it by efficiently servicing two workstations simultaneously. Additionally, Chinese engineers have made a breakthrough with their fully electric humanoid robot, Tiangong. This robot has achieved a speed of 6 kilometers per hour, making it the world's first full-sized humanoid capable of running solely on electric power. Standing 163 centimeters tall and weighing 43 kilograms, Tiangong is equipped with advanced sensors, including three-dimensional visualization systems and high-precision inertial sensors, ensuring stable and efficient movement. Tiangong is designed to operate effectively even in challenging conditions, adapting to environmental changes, navigating obstacles, and even climbing stairs. It can function in blind mode, relying solely on its advanced sensors for movement and stability. Developed by the Beijing Innovation Center for Humanoid Robotics, Tiangong features an open platform design with modular expansion capabilities. This flexibility allows it to be used across various industries, including household services, industrial production, search and rescue operations, and emergency response. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.